welcome everyone. Just that killer song by Def Leppard. This is a song that I just always wanted to learn and was actually listening to some of them the other day. So here we are. Um, great, great song. I took most of this lesson off of, I think it's an 83 video of them live with um, Phil Cullen is in the band at that time, but also Steve Clark and you, they really focused a lot on Steve Clark's playing so I could see where he was and get a better idea because nowadays uh, Vivian Campbell and um, even Phil play it a little bit differently you know they, they, they just do what makes sense to them Vivian's different from Steve so he plays it in a few different positions um, Phil, you know, uses different harmonics and, and dives with the whammy bar, but overall everything is, stays pretty close to the uh, composition. So in that intro, of course, I only did the one guitar and it was shortened. So we're going to go through what both guitars do, where and when, and of course I've written this out so my notes are right below the video. Click on that link and you can download the PDF. Um, and again, thank you for letting the ads run. It really helps. Um, I make a little cash from that, and I appreciate everything. So um, we'll get into the lesson. So for the intro, we have two measures, and they are arpeggiated chords, and it repeats twice for a measure, so four times total in the intro. And we have some um, harmonics the first three times and then we just hit the 12th fret on the third and um, fourth string but we'll talk about that when we get to it so I want to just go through this rhythm so just take a G chord and we're just going to use the sixth fifth and fourth string and pick through those and let them ring then lift off the fives and cover all the threes to change positions we're moving to the first position of the fifth and fourth string but we'll keep that sixth string at the third fret so that repeats all right so that will repeat again another measure or another two times so the after the first set of three we're going to hear some harmonics. All right, this will be on the fifth fret at the third string and then fifth string. And then we go to the twelfth fret on the second and third. All right, then it comes back in. And then the second harmonic after the next three or, or set we just hit the 12th at the 4th and 3rd string harmonic. Alright, the third time, after the note, the uh, peggios go through once, you'll move a little bit more. We're going to move, we're going to hit the 3rd uh, string at uh, the 5th fret and then move to the 2nd string at 12. Then we come back to the 4th string at 7 and then the 3rd string at 12. Then they'll go through the arpeggiated notes again. Then they just hit 12 on the 4th and 3rd string. And slide down. All right? And as they slide down, you'll hear the other guitar slide down also the 6th string. And now we're going to play these arpeggiated notes heavier with a little bit of pinch harmonics, but also... Um, chugging on that G note on the third fret of the sixth string. So we have this. And it's four counts, all right? And then we do it again. So you can see there's four counts, then you do the arpeggio, all right? Then after the third arpeggio, we're actually going to count um, 4, 8, 12. 
Alright, so it's... Then it starts over. Alright, now, so that's twice. And then they start kind of pinch, pinching those uh, arpeggiated notes. And then, so that goes on for two measures, all right, just riding that third. So after the two measures, it changes slightly. We're going to do a little lick at the end there, all right. So third measure, same thing, we go through it. Now what we're going to do is count eight all muted hits on that G note. And then we do one, two, three, four by hitting third fret to first fret on the sixth string and then third fret to second fret on the fifth. One, two, three, four. So we have this. Let's take it from this third measure. One, two, three, four. This fourth measure in the recording, they actually start slightly early and he'll go one, three, one. Okay, it's only in the recording. Every live uh, video I watched, present day to old, doesn't do that. But in the studio, they're going to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then go one, three, one. So that'll be four, one, two, and then to the fifth string, three, four, as a count. All right, so first fret, third fret, back to the first fret, and then three to two on the fifth string. Let's do that whole uh, fourth measure. One, two, three, four. <laughs> into, there's really not a chorus or anything in this because it's all instrumental, so um, looking at the tab and kind of, you know, somebody put themes and I thought that was a good way of breaking this up. So in my tabs I have themes that I've listed and you'll notice sometimes you'll see bolded like uh, one, two, three, four, unbolded on the G note and then there'll be one, two, three, four bold, and then one, two, three, four unbolded. It's just to help you count, okay? There's nothing special when it's bolded necessarily. It's just to help you count visually. So as I'm calling it theme one, we've got four measures. Um, the first and third are very similar as are the uh, second and fourth. All right, so let's go through the very first measure. We start out with the open third string, second fret, then we slide into the third fret. So we have this. So there's really two hits on the second fret, but we're sliding into the third fret the second time. Then what we're going to do is slide into the 5th fret. Then we're going to slide into 7 and we'll hit 7 again. Then we hit it a third time but we slide up to 12. Alright, so we have this so far. One, two, three, four. Point, we want to grab the 10th fret of the first string and then back to 12. We held with vibrato and then slid down. 
All right, so that's, think of that as the first measure theme. We'll do that again on the third measure, all right? Little different, just one note, but again, similar theme. So now the second measure goes up to seven, all right? And we'll hit seven one extra time, and then we're going to go to, although you can just hit the sixth, I'm sorry, fourth fret of the sixth string, um, but actually the other guitar is playing that chord too, so just play it. So we have this. And you could semi-palm mute that, but that is a 16 count, so uh, four sets of four. Then we repeat that first measure up to hitting the tenth fret on the first string. We go to twelve on the third string. And then we quickly go to eleven on the second string, back to twelve. And then ten to twelve on the first string, back to three, uh, sorry, twelve on the third. So we have this. Alright, so all together the third measure, so you can see how it changes a little bit, but it's all within the little triad there. One, two, three, four. Then we just repeat that second measure. Then we're into what we'll call theme two. So that was theme one. All right, theme two, a little bit different. Theme two repeats. There's two measures that repeat. So it's a total of four measures, but again, each one repeats. So I'm going to play both measures and then we'll go over it. <laughs> So what we're doing is hitting the second string at the second fret, hammering into three, little vibrato, then we slide up to eleven. Alright? Then slide back after vibrato. And then we're gonna do the same thing except slide up to ten, and then again the same thing but to eight. Then we come back to the uh, Second, hammer down to three, but we're going to grab the three on the third string. We do that twice, all right? So this first measure, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to go up sliding to 11, just like we have in 10. But then we come into 9 instead of 8. And after we hit it, we hold it, and then we're going to hit it four more times with some vibrato between. I'm sorry. So we have this. So, a total of five hits. You know, we hit there the first time, and then four more with the vibrato. And both of those, again, repeat. So that is theme two, which leads us into theme three. And each one gets a little more interesting. So for theme three, um, really the very first note changes and the rest stays the same. So it gives it that feeling of movement. point we go into theme four all right so we're starting out on the third string seventh fret then we go 
like I said, the rest of these other uh, five notes will be consistent. We go five on the first string to six, eight, six, to eight on the second. So those five notes are consistent. What we're changing is the first note. So the first note, seven, will be twice. Then we move to eight. Then we move to five. So we've done seven twice, eight twice. We're going to do five twice. Then we go back to eight twice. So theme four. Theme four again has kind of the same initial note that um, will have a repeating sequence after it and each time we'll start with I'm sorry seven twice we'll go to eight twice back to five twice and then eight twice but between it's it's kind of a I call it a tongue twister because you you're going back and forth between the first and second string, so I'll play it medium tempo again, and um, we'll go over it. So you can see after that, theme five is really a, 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 a redo of the intro. But like I said, we start out with a couple sevens, and between what we're doing is so third um, string, seventh fret, and then the rest of the notes that repeat are eight slid up to ten, catching that's on the second string, catching ten on the first. Then we go to 8 on the 2nd, back to 8 on the 1st. Then we go to 6 on the 1st string, and then land on 8 on the 2nd. So we have this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Again. Then we move to 8. So you can see, I, I call it a tongue twister because it's kind of back and forth and you really have to have it in your head to do it right. Um, and Steve Clark does this with a cigarette and half the time it's in his fingers, half the time it's in his mouth, but God bless him. Um, yeah, so. Uh, really, both guitars are doing this um, simultaneously, so these themes uh, really repeat until we go to the outro. Um, then we separate the guitars and one guitar will be doing a little bit of a solo and the other guitar will just be doing an outro rhythm. So, rhythm... Um, or theme five, which I like I said is the intro reprised. So what we're gonna do you can add even more pinch harmonics. And this will repeat three times. Each time after we count eight, we'll do the last set of four counts with the three to one on the sixth string to three to two on the fifth string. So we have this. Okay, like I said, three measures long. My notes will help you. 
So for Guitar One's outro, like I said, we're going to extend the arpeggios. <laughs> that just kind of drone on and then this all right so what we're doing to end is we're going to hit the sixth string third fret to the fifth uh, fret of the fourth and third string we'll do that twice go to the 4th and 3rd string from the 6th string, then to the 5th fret of that 4th and 3rd string, and then just hit a G power chord, and then they end with two G power chords. So if there's a solo in this song, this is the outro, and it starts with guitar 2. We're going to do We'll be at the third fret position, but we're going to take the third string at the fifth fret with a bend while hitting six unbent. More of a unison bend together. And then while five is bent, we'll hit it five more times. Then we release it and pull off to three, landing on five. go into measure two which is a little bit longer just because of what he's doing we're going to hammer on from open to the second fret four times third fret four times fifth fret eight times and then what we do after those eight i didn't count them we're just going to go up to the second string seventh fret third string tenth fret bet unison bend. Alright, so it sounds similar to this. Alright, then he comes back to the second string at the fourth fret. Alright, he's going to hit that um, a total of 13 times one time and then 12 more and again I highlighted after the first four and then what we do is go three hammer on to four back to three land on five and then come back to the fifth fret of the third string do that similar theme three hammer into five pull off to three on the third string landing on five back to three on the third back to five on the fourth so you can see this this starts a really quick lift and then we'll repeat that theme with three five three on the fourth string to the fifth fret of the fifth string to the third fret of the fourth, back to five, and then three one. And then we go to the sixth string at three, lay down, catch three to one. All right. So from that little takeoff, three hammered into four in the second string. One, two, three, four. to the sixth string three one three then we go the first fret of the fifth string to the third fret of the fifth string with a bend and then we grab the first fret of the sixth string with a bend so you'll, you'll definitely hear that ending part but this is very very fast <laughs> At that point, when it's pulling down, that's when the, the guitar is going. Alright, but anyhow, we're pulling down the first fret. And then he goes up to the third string, fifth fret, with a bend and a gradual release. And then hits five, 
unbent, and then bends it again. And then two more on the um, to the second string at the eighth fret, while we hit the tenth fret on the third string, bent. More of a unison bent and vibrato, and then we'll do it again. And that's the song. So I hope that helps everybody. Um, yeah, it should. Again, my notes will really help. Enjoy.